haven't really had any lobster since then, so I've, I haven't had any lobster for a long time, it's been decades. Hello folks, welcome to Lester's Custom Truck Shop. Gordon C. in Florida. This is your Lescom Custom DX959. This radio has uh, Echo, TRBX3 Echo, has the SX350, and also now has a 10 turn clarifier. Okay. Push mic gain button for the amplifier. Might help if I push the right one. You see the light come on. It means the amp's working. Push it again. Amp is off. And this switch here, left and middle position, changes the channel. All the way over to the right changes the band. That's band F, channel 40 in that band. There's 45 channels in each band. Okay, the way that's set up. <clears throat> like I said, you do have a 10 turn clarifier. The center of the knob has been drilled out, okay, uh, by a quarter inch drill bit. And then I put some glue on it and slid it back up on the shaft and centered it up on uh, the five. Okay. Uh, squelch scan, squelch the radio. Well, I hear my other radio up there. Okay. To the right, scans up. And the squelch opens, that's what it does. To the left, scans down. Back in the center to turn that off. That's your lowest channel, highest channel, lowest frequency, highest frequency, okay. Switch to the external antenna, okay. Upper side bend. Five fifty five is kind of quiet today. That thirty eight won't be. It is electrical noise you're hearing in the radio. I've got a transformer or something going bad around here. Yeah, I'm a little bit of 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 a little
Oh, you can really hear it right there. I'm going to have to take an uh, AM transistor radio and walk around and see if I can find out where it's coming from. But it's really bad. It doesn't seem to help, does it? Okay. It's done. And like I said, that's talk back. Uh, level and time right now I've got it turned off you do have a 10 turn clarifier uh, I think that's pretty much it okay Gordon certainly hope you enjoy your radio it was my pleasure to build it for you 7.3's everybody okay Gordon just finished the radio uh i wanted to show you the uh, echo let's see i'll turn the level all the way up hello one two three three two one audio test test audio pretty sure you heard that it's coming from my monitor radio there audio test test audio and i am connected to the dummy load so i'm not talking over anybody Here's the time. I'm turning the time up on it. Audio. 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 Turn it back down. Audio. Audio. One, two. One, two. Audio. 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 Test. Test. Audio. Okay. Turn that all the way down and level all the way up. And you get this. I hear a lot of truckers running there like this. I don't see how anybody understands them. But there it is. Okay. Now I'm going to cut that off. All right. And we're going to turn on the amp. You push the mic gain button, the SX350 comes alive. Okay. Meter on the left has a 100 watt slug in it. Meter on the right has a 100 watt slug in it. Meter on the left is for average power. Meter on the right is for peak power. I'm on the times five scale. So we're going to be reading off of that center scale on the meter on the right. Audio, hello. Hello, audio. Oh, you know what? I got it hooked into the wrong power supply. I'll be back. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, folks. I had it plugged into my little power supply up there, and it can't handle the current draw this thing needs. Okay, we're reading off that center scale there. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio, audio test. That's on high power on AM. I'm going to turn power all the way down. Audio, hello, hello, audio. We're dead keying about 27 watts. I try to set it about 30. Audio. We still get plenty of swing. Plenty of swing. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to the lower side of 38. Audio. Hello. Hello. Audio. The average power went over 110. Peak power right around 470 480 that's rf power all the way up um, cut rf power all the way down audio test test audio that's the monitor radio you're hearing i'm gonna turn it down it's still on the m audio test test audio audio one two three four five five four three two one you can see you're only doing about 250 watts with the rf power turned all the way down 
Okay, let me let you hear it on sideband. Audio test, test audio. And uh, my other radio is off frequency. Audio test, test audio. Audio one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And my camera's just about to die. Hello, audio. Audio one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. That's power all the way down. Here's power all the way up. Audio. Now normally the camera makes it on. Okay. Gordon C in Florida. This is your DX959. Less com custom DX959, I should say. See I added the second and final. Added the heat sink, did my improvements to the receiver. There's your 15 kilohertz wide 10.7 uh, filter. There's the amp relay switch. Takes uh, what used to be the Roger beep switch now and controls the amp with it, the SX350. There's your SX350. And Magnum came up with one of these for me. And there's your uh, LC5304 NX. And you can see that I've done the, uh, the hot glue to stabilize the board and make sure the connectors don't come out. A little dab will do you. There's some more right there. That's just to keep the connector from unplugging and also to stabilize uh, the board, the frequency board and the uh, LC5304 vibration. Okay, there's your, uh, well you can't really see them, but that's half barrel connectors in there connecting the uh, SX350 to the power cable. All right. There's your 4700 microfarad cap, buffer, filter for the input. There's the 4700 microfarad cap for the voltage regulator, buffer, filter. And ready to install your TRBX3. We're going into the uh, talkback position with this. And so we're losing talkback. Well, I think that's what we're doing. You know what? I better send you an email to make sure. But I do know that you want an echo. So, there's your echo board getting ready to put it in. And I'll be back. Okay, Gordon. There's your TRBX3 installed. Okay. Not much room in this radio for anything else, boy, I'll tell you. It's kind of crowded in here. That big old SX350 uh, shield takes up a lot of room. There's your 10 turn clarifier. Okay, and right next to it is the uh, control for the Echo for the TRBX3. Alright, I'm going to put it back together and I'll get some more video. Thanks.